Amy De Silva is a 12-year-old songbird with a powerful voice and an incurable genetic disease. Amy has Charcot-Marie Tooth Disorder, or CMT. CMT is the most commonly inherited peripheral neuropathy, estimated to affect one in every 2,500 people worldwide. I think it mostly affects me by um, my wrist. I cannot raise my wrist. This is as far as I can. I'm trying my hardest. And then when I do go to raise my wrist, it just falls right back down. As the disorder progresses, it causes patients to lose normal use of their feet, legs, and hands, arms, and may lead to loss of sensory nerve function and deformities. There are no known cures for CMT and few effective therapies. However, because of recent breakthroughs in genetic science, now, for the first time ever, there is enormous hope. You know, I want to welcome uh, everyone here to a wonderful venue here at the Mandarin Oriental on behalf of the Charcot Marie Tooth uh, Board of Directors, Coach Paterno and Sue Paterno. Um, words can't adequately describe my uh, gratitude for your involvement and support for the CMTA. Sue and Joe Paterno, two special people who together have made our lives better. Partners during a lifetime of commitment and generosity to others. Supporting their community, their university, and their charities. Out here the nights are long, but days are lonely. I straighten my back and I'm working on a dream. I'm working on a dream. Sue and Joe Paterno. Teaching. Giving and encouraging. From the field, inspiring athletes to reach for the stars, to the community, where their love and compassion help us triumph over adversity. Their support with the Charcot Marie Tooth Association gives us the courage to face challenges thought impossible. Our 2009 stars, Sue and Joe Paterno. I just have to say, I'm now officially a star with the star campaign. And I will wear it, and I hope people ask me what it is, because I will fill them in. We were amazed by what you're doing and the fast track you are on for a cure for this genetic disease. Just as it is time now to make more people aware of CMT and inspire them to help find a cure. We chose to be involved with Special Olympics, CMT, and other causes because we are all part of the circle of life and we are all connected. What affects one affects everyone. Tonight is not about us. It is about each of you making a difference in our goal to make a world without CMT. Your gift to the STAR initiative will make a humongous difference. Those who raise awareness of CMT and those who give their time and resources, and I'm not sure, a shy, we do need resources. This is all to give hope to everyone that the future can be different. And thank each of you for making a difference, and thank you. Mike and I are clinical scientists devoted to neuropathy, devoted to CMT, devoted to this organization, and we have found for them the best people in the world to do this work, and they've delivered in one year everything I've said. And we're really proud of uh, how fast things are moving along, and uh, I hope you will uh, see some of the reasons for our excitement. You know, I was very impressed with the, with the doctors who get up there and gave a demonstration. Unfortunately, I had gotten to meet one of the doctors at the reception, and he's a Michigan guy. <laughs> Cure is in your pockets. Thanks for coming. God bless you. Yeah.